Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be a bag reveal. And I probably have never ever told you guys that my second passion or first passion, I guess actually that it would be tied with makeup, would be my love for handbags. Um, at one time, my handbag collection was probably over 200 pieces. And that included, you know, Coach, Brahmin, Dooney, Michael Kors, that type. And I had always wanted um, a Louis Vuitton. And then back in July, when we went to Vegas, I ended up buying, purchasing a pre-loved Speedy. And I love my Speedy, and I'm so glad I have it, because that was probably one of the very first Louis Vuitton handbags that I probably lusted after for years and years and years have purchased um, look-alikes or inspire type bags you know that's kind of the same shape as a, a Speedy but not that brand anyway so I got the Speedy I love using it the issue that I'm having with it is that most of the time during the week I have my grandbaby with me she's eight months old and I have her in her carrier, then I have the diaper bag, and then I would have my Speedy, and then I would have my um, my separate um, bag that I had my laptop in and any paperwork that I need to transport back and forth between home and work. So it was just very, very hard having all of that on the crick of my arms. So I've been wanting to get a bag that has a shoulder strap. And I've been looking at the Neverfulls, and my intention when we went to Vegas in July was to, to go in and purchase a brand new Neverfull. But then my husband kind of talked me out of it and said, no, need to look around, see if you can find one, you know, that's been slightly used and, and save some money. Anyway, that's a whole other story. So I've been looking at Neverfulls, uh, looking at buying a pre-loved Neverfull. And the issue that I have noticed with the pre-love Neverfulls and with the Neverfull in general is that even though it was designed and meant to be able to carry up to 200 pounds, all of the pre-loved ones that I have been looking at in the price range that I wanted to stay within had shown a lot of um, signs of wear and tear. And these bags, you know, may be only between three and maybe eight years old. So the lifespan to me on the Neverfull is not that great. Plus, the other issue with the Neverfull is that they have a very thin sh shoulder strap. And I have found over the years with my vast collection of purses, handbags that I don't do very well with a strap, that a narrow strap, it hurts my shoulder. And then the other issue with the Neverfull, obviously, is that it is just an open bag. There's no way to close it. I mean, it doesn't have a zipper, so there's no way to secure your items that are inside. So, I kind of, as I'm looking, I'm thinking, well, maybe I don't need a Neverfull. Obviously, I don't because I can't find one that I like. So I started looking at a different avenue or a different type of style of Louis Vuitton. And I started going from the pre-loved route to the vintage route. And to me, you know, pre-loved is a handbag that's been used, you know, maybe a couple years, three years, four years, maybe even five years that has um, minimal wear to it. A vintage bag to me is a bag that is, you know, at least 10 years, if not older. So I started looking at the, the vintage category of the Louis Vuitton and started noticing and been watching um, YouTube videos on vintage handbags, Louis Vuitton, and a lot of people were getting the, um, the Noe or the Noah or the Noe. I do believe that it, it, the spelling is N-O-E and it's French for means to mean Noah. But everyone has been pronouncing it no way. But anyway, um, so I started looking down that avenue for that bag because everyone that was showing their Noah that they had purchased as vintage was, you know, 15, 20 
years old and was in you know pretty good shape it seemed to be holding up over time and holding its its um, shape and it's not worn so I started looking for a pre-loved or a vintage <clears throat> no way and I actually ended up purchasing this off of the McCary app you've heard me talk about it I do sell makeup on that app it is an app for an iPhone and an Android I think you can um, sell and purchase items on that app all kinds of stuff you can get and I you have the choice when you sell of just keeping the money on your McCary account or having it deposited into your bank account and with the makeup that I've been selling here lately I've been leaving it into my McCary account with the intentions of, per of possibly purchasing a handbag with that money so that's what I did so I sold a bunch of makeup that was just sitting in my drawer not being used and have purchased this bag here that I'm going to show you we'll get down to it and if you're familiar with Louis Vuitton you've already know what this bag looks like it is a pretty substantial size bag but I do like a bigger size bag it does have the leather fichetta here on the sides and the bottom and this bag for being this bag is 20 years old it has no staining on the bottom there's no staining on the sides there's a little bit of scuffing on the corners but not very much at all um, the handles is in perfect condition I did this was separate this is a, um, a luggage tag that I put on there and it's a drawstring um, bag the drawstring was in very good condition also and there was no tears or cracks in the canvas and the reason why I decided to get this is because you know one it has a very good wide thick strap that I think will be very comfortable on the shoulder it's adjustable so you can definitely you know uh, make it shorter or longer I prefer it on the shorter side and it's designed to just throw your your products in here and then let them kind of build up I have in here a um, my purse organizer that I purchased for my speedy I have that in here so everything is just not a jumbled jumbled up anyway this bag was created in this style of bag not this particular bag this style of bag was created in 1932 there is a particular um, champagne house that approached um, Louis Vuitton and asked them to create them a bag that they could carry champagne five bottles of champagne in and that's how this bag was created you can carry five bottles of champagne um, four bottles um, standing up and then one bottle um, facing down so if I ever want to go to a very nice party and um, take some champagne I could carry it in this bag no <laughs> not gonna happen but anyway yesterday was the first day that I carried it I love it it had it just needed a little bit of cleaning not very much at all I cleaned the grommets on it and I conditioned the leather and then I cleaned the leather and then I reconditioned the leather um, just to make sure that I don't get any cracking I want to make sure that my leather is nice and supple and um, there's a lady here on YouTube her channel is little mama's house and she has some wonderful tutorials on how to clean um, and restore vintage Louis Vuittons and from watching those it kind of gave me the confidence to go ahead and get a vintage piece knowing that if worse came to worse on what I found I could always send it to her and have her refurbish it and paint it for me but this the leather in this on this is perfect it's the perfect honey patina I don't have to worry about um, it being the raw leather like it would be brand new and so I don't have to worry about you know worrying about how it's going to patina it's already done very nicely and I just love it and I'm so glad that I have it and I'm still kind of working with the drawstring on figuring out how I want 
to do the drawstring. Um, so anyway, that is it. That is it for my um, reveal of my what's new to me vintage Louis Noé. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will talk to you soon. Bye.